Hi everyone, in this quick video I want to talk to you about increasing, decreasing, and constant functions. Let's talk about each of these types of functions and then go through an example where we can practice what we just learned. A function is considered increasing over an interval where every small step in the positive x direction leads to a positive change in our y, or our output value. So what does this look like on a graph? Well, let's look at the function square root of x, the graph of which looks like this. As we can see here, as we move along the positive x-axis, the y value will continually increase forever. And this should make sense to us as if we apply any x value to the square root of x, our output will never decrease with a larger input value. What about a decreasing function though? Well, opposite of an increasing function, a decreasing function's output will decrease with every small increase in our input. So what if we had one minus x? Well, as x gets larger, we're going to see that our output, y, will continually decrease. Lastly, a constant function is one in which the y value does not change with a small increase of our input. The output value will remain constant over our given region of x values. All right, so now that we have an idea of what these three types of functions are, let's answer an example to ensure that we understand. So we are asked to identify what intervals this piecewise continuous function is increasing, decreasing, or constant. Well, before we begin, we should seek to break the graph up into various regions where a change occurs. So anytime we see a change in direction within the function, let's draw a dotted line through it. Now, we can clearly see that there are three areas of interest. Let's start at the left and work our way to the right. In the first interval, we can see that as the x value increases, the y value remains the exact same. Therefore, we know that from negative infinity to negative 2, this interval is constant. We should also note that the solid dot means that exactly negative 2, our function belongs to the first interval and not the second interval. The second interval, which essentially begins right after negative 2, has an increasing y value as we move along the positive x direction. Therefore, this interval of the function is positive between the interval of negative 2 and 3. However, the start of this interval is really, really close to negative 2, but not exactly at it. In the final interval, we can see that our output drops off. So our y value is slowly decreasing as we move to a more positive x direction. Therefore, this means that this interval is decreasing from an input of slightly greater than positive 3 to positive infinity. I hope this quick video was able to aid your understanding of increasing, decreasing, and constant functions. Thank you for checking out the video. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe to support the channel. However, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about the information I provided in this video, please leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to address your concerns.